In order to surprise her daughter Abby on her 13th birthday, Sarah Blanks enlisted Swifties. Sarah had a particularly difficult year, so when their mutual love of Taylor Swift strengthened their mother-daughter bond, Sarah made a public appeal for assistance in hopes of making her birthday extra special. Sarah explained to WTVR, she was going through the same thing I was heartbreak, friendships, friend struggles, you know, it's all portrayed in her music before revealing how she stoked their affection for the Grammy-winning musician. I think the first song I ever shared with my daughter was Shake It Off, which was released in 2014. She remembered that she was four. And she would just dance and shake it off in her car seat and it's just been a love story ever since then. Abby told the source that as she's gotten older and more mature, she's come to relate to the songs of the anti-hero singer. Abby is now in her teens. I just feel like as I'm getting older, I can go back and listen to her music that she made when she was struggling with the same things that I am now, she exclaimed. Sarah added that her daughter's struggles this past year motivated her to seek out to strangers online, recognizing the hard times that teenagers her age can face. All I wanted was to give her the best 13th birthday. The devoted mother was taken aback to receive over 250 cards from all over the world, since she had only anticipated receiving 20. I didn't believe the cards were, you know, real cards. After that, I began to open several, and to my surprise, they were real cards from individuals all around the world. Abby remarked, I was simply blown away. Their fellow Swifties also included trinkets like friendship bracelets and jars filled with Swift's lyrics. Get the best of people, from celebrity news to gripping human interest stories sent straight to your inbox by subscribing to their free daily newsletter. I just think it shows that you don't really have to know someone for them to care about you, she exclaimed. Sarah went on, even just thinking about it has made me cry several times. It's true that I've had trouble finding a supportive group, and I also know that it can be challenging for teenagers to find a community. Thus, I believe it's critical to be able to demonstrate to her what it looks like.